Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to our RPD challenge, um, our multi CMSS Asian program. I am Dr. Keiko Shimazu. I'm a professor at AIIT, which stands for Advanced Industrial Institution of Technology. Well, today I will talk about the design of a common EWS message in this video. Also about application by using the common EWS message in another video. QGSS, which is Quasi Genius Satellite System, is Japanese GNSS. It doesn't cover only Japan, but also Southeast Asia and Oceania. It's operated by four satellites in orbit. We have been planning two usage of QGSS by using 50 and 75.42 megahertz communication band. The first one is advanced C and A. This is made for positioning, navigation, and timing service. The other one is L1S. This is made for disaster crisis report called DC report. We want to use uh, L1S for broadcasting emergency, emergency information to evacuate those in need from disasters. Actually, European Union has their GNSS named Galileo. It covers all over the world. We, Japan and the EU, have joined a project for broadcasting emergency information to evacuate from disasters in the same message format. One of the biggest points is both GNSS use the same communication band for broadcasting emergency information to evacuate from disasters. They call it Emergency Running Service EWS, and we call it Disaster Crisis Report, DC Report. On the other hand, the size of a message is different. 122 bits are available for broadcasting emergency information to evacuate from disasters in the case of Galileo. And 192 bits are available in QGSS. Therefore, we decided to design the message for broadcasting emergency information to evacuate from disasters in 122 bits as a common between Galileo and the QGSS. We call it common EWS, okay? The red part is common EWS message area. Our biggest challenge for designing a common EWS is how to put a complicated information about a disaster. It has not only disaster type, but also CBNS, occurrence time, evacuation way, and so on. We employed international standard for solving this problem. Common alerting protocol called CAP-CAP is one of them. We use this standard for appropriate design of disaster type information structure. I want to move to an actual common EWS message format specification. 122 bits for common EWS message area consists six parts. Message identifier, event, event chronology, guidance to react, target area, and specific settings. The part of event also consists of three parts for representing the information structure of disaster type. Event category has disaster classes. Event subcategory has actual disaster name. And severity has that severity, severeness. Okay. And then I believe that you have already downloaded the specification file of common EWS format. You can see the name is event category on the first seat. You can see also more specific information, more disaster type. 
about the disaster type when you click on the field name of event. In this case, more specific, specific information is on your monitor. Each disaster code from 0000 to 1111 has a specific meaning with some spheres. I uh, want to add an explanation about the target area. This is for identifying which area has a disaster identified as an event field. You can do that by using an ellipse. That means five numerical values are used. Latitude, longitude, semi-major axis lengths, semi-minor axis lengths, and semi-major axis azimuth angle. You identify your target area in ellipse after calculating your center coordination by using these five numbers. You need to be careful how to identify your target area from two viewpoints. One is how to identify it, then identification by using ellipse, as I said earlier. Second point is resolution. We prepare to limited size of bits because all area of common EWS are 122 bits. For instance, 16 bits are used for presenting latitude for our 360 round globe. That means one bit difference occurred 305 meter change. Much more uh, big difference occurred in the cases of semi-major axis lengths and semi-minor axis lengths because this is decided by calculation of uh, the bottom line mathematic formula, the okay, bottom line mathematic formula. And then one bit of difference indicate big difference about radian. We built some applications according to common EWS message format. As I told you, I introduced outline of one of them. You can see the detail in another video. The rest of this video will show that what steps are needed to execute your field test of application. Most important step for field test of your application is making field test data according to your use case scenario, okay? This is an actual data used for our field test last year. This is partial one, but it's enough to understand which this disaster is occurred and when that disaster is occurred and with how severeness and so on. Next step is transforming them to digital code for 122 bits. I would like to explain a small part of our test result. We received common EWS messages among the positioning data successfully. We can see which information is S or positioning data by seeing the first code of each record. Therefore, we can see the exact time of EWS message receiving. Okay. And I also want to tell tips to you. We developed SDK for MT43. You can use from GitHub, okay? And we will develop SDK for MT44 by the end of November in this year. 
So、uh, I have presented a common EWS message format from the viewpoint of how to read a specification and how to use it for making application. I believe that your use case scenario is important. Okay. I hope you enjoy your challenge. Thank you very much for your attention.